Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 9. Now no this is not a official operating system released by Microsoft that nobody knew about. This is actually something done unofficially which is pretty obvious. But yeah it's called Windows 9 and what it actually is is kind of interesting. This is an operating system based on Windows 8.1 embedded, but it is designed to look like Windows 7. So it has like the arrow theme and a few other Windows 7 visual elements. So this is the site right here at eastcoast.hosting forward slash Windows 9. I will leave this link down below in the video description because while you can download it from this site, um, this is not going to come with a license key, so you're going to have to provide your own license key for this, as he states down here um, in the uh, or at the bottom of the uh, page right here. So it's not an illegal source of Windows because you have to provide your own key. But yes, this is obviously a user modified thing. Microsoft did not do this, as I said, and like just nobody knew about it. But this is a screenshot of it right here, and you can see that. You know, it's got like some Windows 7 stuff going on here, but it's based on Windows Embedded 8.1 Industry Pro. So I'm very interested in, in like actually testing this out. I did get a few video requests for this. Uh, a few people, I had um, Hank717 on OS Forms. There were a few other people in some of my comments that mentioned um, if I had heard of this or if I wanted to do a video on this. And when I kind of read into it, I kind of thought this would be pretty cool to show off because this, I mean, could this be Windows 9? Probably not. I mean, Microsoft wouldn't go back to using Arrow after they've gone with Windows uh, 8 and that whole design. But it's a sort of interesting hybrid between uh, Windows 8 and Windows 7 because it's going to be based on Windows 8, obviously, but it's using Windows 7 uh, or well, Windows 7's visual style. So what I've gone ahead and done is I have downloaded this and we're going to be booting it up in a VM here and seeing what it's all about. So what we're looking at right here is the readme slash changelog file that is actually in the .7z file that you download along with the ISO file. And in here, it just kind of gives you a general overview of what Windows 9 is. It tells you that it is provided for free on this website. So if you paid for it, you've been scammed pretty much. Um, and yeah, so it just kind of goes through, it gives you like a whole change log of, of what that they have uh, since the first 1.0 release. And it kind of tells you there's uh, you know all these different things that it's that they've added and that they've removed from the uh, or uh, from this operating system, and it does say down here at the very bottom that you know this software is provided as is with no warranty, and that this is not an activated product, and that you have to uh, provide the key yourself. So yeah, that is a general overview of what Windows 9 is, and what I'm going to go ahead and do now is just skip over the installation process because as far as I know, it is identical to a Windows 8 installation process. So there's nothing special there, but if there is, I'll be sure to add it into the video. But I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right to us loading into the operating system and we're gonna see what this is all about. All right, so we are back. We have just finished up with the setup. As I mentioned, it was literally identical. And yeah, so we're here at the desktop. So yes, it is based on uh, Windows Embedded 8.1 Industry Pro, build 9600. Yeah, I mean, we've got a Windows 7 Aero theme with like the same Windows 7 start menu with um, all of, yeah, all the stuff that we are used to in Windows 7. We've got the icons here. We're gonna go into personalize here and yeah, we've got the like the old personalized thing. Um, wow, I mean, this is really like to a novice. I mean, this is a little bit square here, right? Like that that doesn't. I mean, to me, like I know what Windows Seven Era looks like, so I can tell that like yeah, like these edges are a little bit more square um, than they are in uh, you know like a regular release of Windows Seven. But to like the average user, to like a novice computer user, they probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference. So. We're just gonna go ahead and bump this up to 1080p here and hit apply. So there's a few things that gives this away that it is Windows 8.1 rather than Windows um, 7. One of those things, as I mentioned, is the like edges here, how they're a little bit more square. The other thing is the centered title text. Windows 7 did not have centered title text. Uh, that was that started back up in Windows 8. Again, if you don't really pay attention to like the minor details and things, you're not really going to notice that. But just for you guys who are interested, we'll go ahead and run a Winver. And so yeah, Windows Embedded 8. It's uh, NT 6.3, copyright 2013. Windows Embedded 8.1 Industry Pro. So that is the like what this operating system is based off of. 
but you can see they've done a really fantastic job in getting this to look like Windows 7. We've got, as I mentioned, the arrow theme, almost an exact recreation, uh, almost identical to the Windows 7 arrow theme. We've got all the Windows 7 icons, um, this Windows flag here, and Windows 7 is normally the old Windows flag, but so that's kind of another uh, small giveaway. Uh, again, all like the old folder icons, um, we go into control panel and see if we have the old icons here. Yeah, we've got the old icons here and everything. If we go into system, also these like back buttons up here are a little bit different. We're going to go ahead into um, just search for system here. And in here is where um, we have like, you know, like, like it says, Windows 8.1 Industry Pro, it shows all our specifications. So again, another big giveaway here. But overall, I mean, could I recommend using this? I mean, you'd have to be somebody who just doesn't like Windows 8, you don't like the design of Windows 8, and you don't want to theme it, or of like even of Windows 10, and you don't want to theme it yourself, but you still want to use Windows 8 for whatever reason. Maybe you want to like um, be a little bit more up to date uh, with like updates and that sort of thing than Windows 7. So there are definitely uses for this, but. Um, it is definitely not, not something that is official. And also, you're, you're, you're going to have to get a Windows Embedded 8.1 license key, which I don't know how easy for the general public that, that, that is to get because it's not really sold to the general public. It's sold mostly to um, like specialized hardware manufacturers as far as I know. So you're going to have to go out and get yourself a Windows uh, Embedded 8.1 key and all of that. So, um, yeah, so let's just take a look at what programs are on here. It's, there is... Um, I think it said, yeah, Google Chrome was on here, but it's not in here. So I think that they mentioned something about taking Google Chrome out because it looks to be a very minimal install. You see, we even have some stuff that Windows 8 would have that's been stripped out of here. There are no modern UI apps as far as I can tell. There's just like the Windows system stuff, ease of access, accessories, all of that regular stuff. There's a store here, but that opens up a command window and then goes to the store. So I don't know... Can we actually access the... Oh, so we can still access the regular start menu. But we've got, like, this start menu underneath it. And, yeah, so here's, like, the all apps view, and there's three things. There's Internet Explorer and PC settings and store. So there are some things that they had to leave in here, I assume. Um, but, yeah, for the most part, you wouldn't really be accessing... Um, like the regular start menu you cannot even access it by like pressing the windows key or you know mousing down here you are stuck with using this one unless you go into the store that is basically a quick look at windows 9 again very interesting i'd never you know seen something like this before so be sure to let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments below be sure to let me know um, if you want to see more videos like this uh, in the near future, as I will definitely do them as you guys are very interested in, in this in, uh, in this kind of stuff. So that is really all that I have to say for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely sure to give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe down below if you want to see more videos like this in the near future. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video.